So far, the new Omicron variant has not been confirmed in Oregon or in Washington state. It has been confirmed in California. Well, joining us live with more information on the new variant, along with updates about vaccinations in Oregon, is the public health director in Multnomah County, Jessica Guernsey. Good morning, Jessica. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. How are you? Thanks for having me. Doing well. Lots to cover here with you this morning. First off, the Omicron variant is on everyone's minds. What can you tell us so far about what we know about Omicron? Well, um, you know, I don't think it's the news that we wanted to hear, but it's not unexpected. Um, I don't think there's a reason to panic. We've learned a lot in the last year about um, COVID-19. So as the, as the president um, mentioned, we're going to be learning a lot over the next four to six weeks about how this variant behaves um, with the current vaccines. Um, we expect to see an increase in testing availability at home test kits, which will, which will be key to helping us connect people to um, staying at home if they're sick. So we expect more today from the president, um, but we're going to be learning a lot in the next four to six weeks. Now, how soon do you expect that we could potentially see this in Oregon? Um, you know, with the with the case in California, um, my guess would be not too long. Um, if you know, if it's in California, it's likely that it's had some limited spread in the United States, much like the beginning of this pandemic, um, when we saw cases emerge rather quickly and community spread. So it would not surprise me if we found it soon. Now that a lot of uh, people have been opened up to getting booster shots, all adults can get them now. Are you advocating for people to get their vaccine boosters, uh, especially with the Omicron variant present? in uh, the United States now. Why is it so important to get a booster shot? Absolutely. We're strongly advocating that folks go ahead and get a booster shot. One of the things that we've learned and we know is that the vaccines are highly effective against the current variant. So we have to work with the tools that we have. We know that the booster can help boost that immune system to protect us even further. Um, so we're definitely banking on that as part of our um, defense against this new variant. Is the county working to uh, ramp up access to vaccinations and boosters? We, it appears that we're seeing a more increased demand now with boosters being open to everyone and with this new variant, uh, we've seen a lot of appointments starting to book out for some of those shots. Yes, we are integrating. We have been doing boosters and we're integrating more capacity for boosters at our um, sites. We've pivoted to um, offer pediatric vaccines now that that's available um, for young people 5 to 11 years of age, but we're also offering uh, booster vaccines at our sites. You can get your booster shot through your healthcare um, provider and through pharmacies. I know that there's going to be a high demand, um, so we should expect that, but all pathways should be open for folks to get their boosters. What are you uh, saying in terms of testing? Uh, is there still an emphasis on people being tested uh, to see if they have COVID-19? Mm -hmm. um, or are you just mainly emphasizing getting the shots now? No, as, as the president mentioned, we are going to, um, we, we have been emphasizing testing and we've moved more to a model of utilizing um, the at-home test kits. That's something that we've started doing at Multnomah County, working with community-based agencies to make sure that folks that may have a hard time accessing testing can get that. But as you heard this morning from the president and we'll hear more today, they will be rolling out um, a payment system for healthcare providers to reimburse for at-home test kits, as well as pushing at-home test kits out to federally qualified health centers and public health agencies so that we can expand at-home testing. That will allow us to identify folks that are sick and may have mild symptoms and really emphasize staying home when they're sick so we can minimize spread of the disease. Okay, lots to continue to keep track of this week. I'm sure we'll be touching base with you again very soon. Jessica Guernsey, Public Health Director in Multnomah County, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. And of course, you can find more information about where to find vaccine locations, where to get your booster, along with the latest updates from national and local health authorities anytime on coin.com.